Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb, and I wanted to talk in this video about uh, TextBroker, TextBroker.com, a uh, marketplace or basically a place where uh, you can find writers that will help you create content uh, with whether it's a web page content or blog content or whatever you want. Um, and uh, I've been using it for a few years now, and uh, really lately we've been kind of refining it better and better. And I just wanted to share a few quick quick tips and just kind of a walk through uh, through the system, and hope uh, this will help you know new people save some time. Okay, so uh, basically. You go to textbroker.com, uh, register, or of course, if you already registered, just log in. So I'm going to log in right now as a client, not as an author. So I'm not looking for for writing for writing position. I'm looking for writers. I'm logging in as a client. Okay, and uh, as soon as it loads, I'm just going to go over a few things. Okay, so uh, first thing you want to do after you get familiar with it, this is to actually go into the account and deposit some funds. So um, you go ahead and you just go, you know, add some PayPal funds, whatever it is, $100, $200, whatever you want. And after you do that, you can actually start, okay? So uh, the first thing I would like to do is really go to the tab on top and um, kind of explain a little bit about how you actually order a... a a project, a, a you know, a page, a, a content, stuff like that. Okay, so um, if you go to the assignments tab right here on the top, you'll basically have a section called new order. Okay, and then um, in this new order section, if I scroll down a little bit, there's a separation between the basically the four different types of orders that you can place: uh, open order, direct order, team order, and expert order. Um, so uh, typically, I, I either use open order or direct order. Um, I've never used the team order or expert order, so that has to be someone else's video explanation. But um, by far, uh, the the only thing I really do like is the direct order. Okay, so uh, what that I'll explain the, the difference. So uh, open order is basically if you have a project. And you want someone to write, let's say, a blog post about uh, a product you sell, for example. So if you submit it on the open order, you basically submit what kind of quality level, how much you want to pay uh, in, in quality terms, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars. And then whoever um, writer is there it, it will be able to kind of take on that project and do it. Um, I don't like that because you're basically saying I want either like a four, let's say I want a four star writer and you don't get to choose them, you don't know if they have uh, uh, any experience with the, the order you're doing, you don't know any of that kind of stuff. So uh, what I, again, why I suggest direct order is I like to search for the authors, I want to know that someone is going to be able to write the best content for me. And I want to know who that is. I want to know what their experience is. I want to know exactly how much they charge. I want to know uh, and be able to communicate with them so I can quickly find a, a, a writer or two or more within the niches that I'm trying to write. And I want to know that I'm always going to give them the, the guidelines that I want. They're going to know exactly what I want and they're going to create the best content instead of just letting someone with an open order, you know, every time it would be a different... <coughs> excuse me, there would be a different uh, writer. I want a direct order. I want to choose the author. You can see right here and, and do that. So um, let's. what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to the side a little bit. I'm going to show you how you find authors via search right here. And uh, then we'll go and we'll kind of explore the actual order phase and how you approve them and all that stuff. So either you can go here via search right here or on the top tab you can go to, um, sorry, right here, authors and then search, okay? So what you do, let's let's say that we're trying to sell um, just a basket, some basketball uh, uh, or sports, you know, accessories, okay? So what I would do here is I use the filter in the search bar on the left-hand side in order to filter things that are better for me. So I might type in here maybe sports or maybe basketball, stuff like that. And uh, after I do the search, the keyword search, I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, ask for the quality, qual quality level at least 4 or a 5. Okay, so I selected that 
and it's refining. And then you can select your price per word, whatever fits you. Um, and of course, rejection rate. Rejection rate is basically the percentage of times that uh, uh, the writer has submitted an article and uh, the the person requesting the 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 content actually rejected it. They didn't like the either the quality is really bad or they didn't understand the guidelines. And people who, uh, writers that have higher rejection rates, you know, you probably don't want to work with them. Um, but of course, it's up to you. So uh, now, you know, um, let's keep everything fairly default. And now, after all of this, you see that the search refined for me. So you can check out, you know, their occupation, how much they charge per per uh, per word, and how many articles they've written. You know, this person has written above 200. That's a better sign. What is the rejection rate? And then if you're more interested, so here, for example, I don't see anything about basketball or sports. So I might want to click on show full profile, okay? And I want may want to see how why did the search box, why did the search functionality show this person for basketball, for sports, or whatever. So I want to kind of see if I can see any, um, I'm going to search on the page, see if anything with sports, take, take a look at their um, their samples, you know, look at, look at all this information to get a better idea. So I'm not going to explain how you really find one because that's kind of, you know, a whole full topic about it, but basically go through the, the um, Go through the bios, search, find someone that's perfectly writing for you, for your, for, for your topic, for your budget, all that stuff. Send them even a direct uh, uh, a message. Send them a message. Ask them, do you have experience with, uh, you know, basketball memorabilia or whatever it is? And uh, you'll get much more information from these specific, you know, spend a little bit more time on finding good writers and it'll pay back. Uh, uh, tenfold, or of course, much more. Okay, so once you found that, let's say I found, let's say um, I like this this lady. Okay, and um, what I can do is I can save her to my favorites list. So later on, I can just easily access it and send her orders. So let's just do it for example. Okay, I'm gonna click on that, and you see the star got highlighted. Now, um, now in order to, let's say I found a few, and and they, I have you know a few that I want to send. Uh, projects to. So uh, what I do actually is I go to authors and then I go to my favorites. Okay? And um, then I go, and, you know, I have everything. Of course, this is the one uh, event or event um, is the one. So now that I want to send her a project, I want her to write a specific basketball theme for me. Okay? So I'm going to click on this. Uh, sorry, I'm going to click on her name. And I'm going to go and I'm going to send her a direct order. Remember, open order versus direct order. I'm going to send her a direct order. So let's just send her a project. I won't submit it, but I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so um, this is the main, um, the main screen for placing an order. So pretty simple. So author, um, obviously, it's, it's the lady we selected. What, what is the project? So what is the folder? What is the project name we want to sort this under? So let's say if I'm, I'm, I'm starting a new project, I would actually go here and create a new folder or new area in order for me to find it better later called basketball. Okay? And then what is the category? So the category most likely should be sports. Okay, here. Um, and then processing time, I, I always leave it one day, no problem. Um, you can kind of play around with this. Now, the next thing you need to refine is what what article, what do you want her to write? What do you want her to do? So the first thing you want to do is always specify the word count. What is the maximum number of words you want to do? So let's say I want a detailed article about... Um, what are, what are the materials for a, what are the popular materials that basketballs are made up out of so i just made that up right now okay so let's say i want to do maximum 800 words seo options i always do off we don't want any keyword density any keyword stuffing all that you know years ago tactics that that it just are stupid okay so um, so after you do that what you want to do is is create the um, subject, the topic, title, the the order title. Okay, so let's say um, 
types of material for basketball. Okay, now this is kind of one of the most important things that I can not emphasize enough. The uh, when you in include um, the title, you need to after include the order description right here. What the description basically means is you need to guide the writer as best as detailed as you can with the topic. Because if you don't do that, your depending on the writer you have, it could go all directions. It can go for some. Uh, low quality writing. It can go to a direction of uh, you know. It can go many directions. So I always try to emphasize emphasize this. Always put as much detail as you can. Okay. So what I would do is I would kind of give her uh, some kind of guidelines. How do I want the the uh, article structure to be? Do I want to have uh, a a categories inside? Do I want it to be an informational? Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it on my blog? Do I want to put it on my web page? Do I want to submit it to, let's say, some kind of guest blog? Or do, what do I want to do? Where does it go? So that's the first thing. Second, what is the structure? What do I want to write? Are there important details that I want to, to include? Um, you know, on and on. Just try to think about what you're trying to achieve, where it's trying to go, and guide them. So for me, a lot of order descriptions, I write a few paragraphs of, of uh, uh, um, explanation, of details. I always like to detail it, and then the writer d will do their magic. You know, I'm not a writer, but I can at least guide the, the writer into, into the right direction. So once you finish all the detail, let's just say detail, what you do, you click on calculate order, okay? And um, now I don't have enough funds here, but you, but basically, um, you can see how much it costs. So up to 800 words times 0 0.0195, it should have been $16 right now, okay? So after you do that, cl calculate order, and if you have funds, you just click on submit, and the order is sent on its way. So the author will respond, they'll start creating it, all that stuff. So now, um, when, in order to kind of manage this, to see what's going on, you basically go to the tab of assignments and administration. Okay, so remember how we created this folder or this project called basketball? What you want to do is go to the area right here called basketball, and um, if I submit an order, it should have a one next to direct orders. Remember, open orders and direct orders. Now. Um, it, now, this to verify, if you can see right here, to verify column, that's a column that says if the, 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 the basically is there for, if the writer completed the project, uh, you need to verify, they'll, they'll submit it, and you need to verify if it's okay, then the project is completed and the writer gets their payment. If it's not complete, you have to give some kind of guidelines or decline it or do something. So um, let me show you an example. I think we probably have some kind of open orders here, um, and I actually do not have. So I'll, I'll show you on this direct order. This is a topic that, that we just asked for a writer to do, and I'll show you how it looks, okay? So uh, we just did something here. Um, so basically, you'll have kind of an area right here which you can select it, and you can uh, uh, basically give your comments or approve. And, and it's pretty pretty straightforward. So you'll see it right here. Um, and you'll just have all the information and you can use it. So th that's kind of the brief thing. Sorry I didn't have any example to do right now. I haven't used this for a little while because we're focusing right now a little less on content, a little more on some social things that we're working on. But uh, I think you get the point for the most part. So hope this helped. Um, again, my biggest tip, and it's, it's a pretty simple thing, is when you create a new order, don't use that open orders. I think it's pretty bullshit. Uh, there's, you know, you want to use the authors that you want to do. You want to find people that you can work for long term, and direct order is the way to go. Again, team order and export order, I don't really know much because I haven't played around with it, but direct order is the way to go. Uh, text broker is a pretty cool thing. I, I like it. I recommend it. Uh, well, I'm not associated with it in any way and hope you enjoyed this and we'll create some more videos uh, uh, later on. Thank you.